Yesterday, India successfully landed an uncrewed spacecraft on the moon for the first time. Let's talk about why that's important. Chandrayaan-3 is India's third lunar spacecraft and second with a lander component. Yesterday, the spacecraft achieved a soft landing at the south pole of the moon. It's the first country to ever land a craft in that region, and the fourth country after the US, Soviet Union, and China to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon. This comes just a few days after Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft crashed. For more on that and why it's so hard to land on the moon, watch my linked video. Chandrayaan-3 is an ISRO, or Indian Space Research Organization, mission that has three components. Landing safely on the moon, deploying and operating a rover successfully in a lunar environment, and studying the lunar surface and composition of the moon. The mission launched on July 14th from the Dhawan Space Center in India. The good news is that the team has already achieved two of these objectives. A few hours ago, the rover successfully deployed and it's currently exploring the lunar surface. The success of this mission is a big deal for many reasons. India is becoming a growing presence in the global space industry, but this solidifies that status. The location they landed is also significant. Everyone has their eye on the moon's south pole, but why is it so important? Well, scientists are interested in this area because it has sheltered craters that contain water ice. That's valuable scientifically, as this trapped water may give us clues about the origins of the moon and our own planet but it's also important for more practical reasons. We need water if we're going to explore and potentially live on the moon. NASA is currently planning on sending Artemis III astronauts to the South Pole as the first moon landing of that program. Artemis II will also carry crew, but they will not land on the moon. That mission is currently scheduled for 2025, but it's much more likely it'll happen later in the decade.